So this is Donna Kane. She's one of my clients and she's an owner of Australian Shepherds. All the herding breeds, including Aussies, are prone to a genetic defect. Uh, it's called MDR1. And if a dog has two copies of that gene in their DNA, uh, they are not gonna handle some medications very well. The most common one that we worry about is ivermectin, which is one of our once a month heartworm preventatives. Uh, there's also some chemotherapy and anesthetic drugs and um, Imodium AD, which we use a lot in dogs for diarrhea. A lot of these herding dogs will have just one copy of the gene that they inherited from one parent. Um, those dogs will have a little bit of sensitivity. We can't use high doses of ivermectin like we would use for treating demodex mites. Uh, we have to use a lower dose of Imodium. Uh, if they have two copies of that gene, then we don't want to use ivermectin or loperamide at all. Um, so we're going to adjust our, our drug and management protocols for these dogs depending on whether they are a carrier for that MDR1 gene. So Donna has had her dogs tested uh, for MDR1 and I thought she could tell us why she thought that was important. Well, number one, education. I wanted to be well informed and prepared for the future and the more knowledge you have, the better. I do have an Aussie that is very susceptible to stress diarrhea and as Dr. Boss said, one of the treatments is Imodium. I was very concerned <laughs> that if she had one of the mutant genes that this would be a real problem. So yep. that's what initially made me decide. Uh, Donna was also nice enough to refer um, a few friends of hers over. Mm -hmm. Donna does some dog training and agility with her dogs and so I have had several other Australian Shepherd owners bring their dogs in and we've done MDR testing for them too. So uh, it's also really important to know whether your dog is carrying a, an abnormal gene if you're going to be breeding your dog. So you don't want to be passing on some of mm -hmm. these traits to the offspring. You want to know whether those parent dogs are carriers before you breed them. So um, Macy's just a pet dog so for her uh, we just want to make sure that she's healthy. Uh, Macy also has another interesting DNA defect that we did DNA testing for. Uh, she has what's called exercise-induced collapse. So Macy can't do very much running around and exercising, especially in hot weather, um, or she will pretty much sort of fall on the ground weak and wobbly uh, and her temperature gets way too high. So um, uh, DNA testing is great because we can identify problems um, and as Donna said, we can do what we need to do to prevent problems occurring because they have genetic defects.